Shame, shame. Ma, you cannot lie to me anymore. Why? Because I now have a lie detector. How are you sure this lie detector works? It shouts R for truth and O for lies. And it is very, very aggressive. Mommy, did you always take first position when you were in school? Actually, I should be the one asking the questions. Answer the question now! Wow, it is really aggressive. This is not a good idea. Shen, Ma, if you see money on the floor, will you take it? No, I will not keep it. Help! Ah! But I will give it to the ice cream man and collect ice cream. Who took the money in my purse? It's not me, oh. Help! I, I, I was the one. Hey, you are you say you will not beat me, oh? Happy birthday, Simon. Happy birthday. Yeah, happy birthday Yo, congrats. Happy birthday. Thanks, guys, so much. I really appreciate it. Happy birthday, Simon. Here's your card. Thanks, Grandma. There's a hundred bucks in that card, by the way. What the? Grandma, you're the best. Yo, who's just grandma oh got her hundred bucks? I, no, happy she's, birthday. Cool. Happy. she's cool. Oh, like congratulations she's cool. on here. Let me just... Huh? Let me just take this, okay? What, the, what are you doing with my money? Well, I'm just putting it in a safe place for you so you don't lose it, okay? Uh, no, I'm not that dumb. I know you're gonna spend that for yourself. Simon, it's not a big deal. You can get it later, okay? Nah! Give it back. I need that money to pay for college. Simon, in today's economy, 100 bucks isn't even enough for gas, okay? Have you been doing this with all my birthday money? Simon, of course not. Why would I- Honey, why is there a box in our room labeled Simon's birthday money? What? Yeah, it's got like five grand in it. <laughs> Give that back. No, give him the money back. Yo, that's his. That's his. Give him the money. Hey, mommy, mommy. Why did you go to jail? Because your father is an idiot. I was at the bank depositing money when suddenly your father runs in and yells, The police are here. Hurry up and get out. I mean, naturally, I was tackled by security and arrested immediately. And then they proceeded to question me for six hours. Oh! What? Hey, daddy, daddy. Why did you drop on mummy? Well, I just did what she told me to do. Uh. She forced me to park in the loading zone because she didn't want to pay for parking and to tell her immediately when the parking police arrived. So I did. Oh, and that fine was so expensive. Oh no, how much did you pay? It was a thousand dollars. A hundred for the parking fine and another nine hundred for them to take your mum away for a few hours. <sighs> Worth every penny. What? What did he say? <laughs> Hey Billy, how was school today? A bone fell out of my face! Oh wow, you lost your first tooth! I should not be the only one freaking out right now! You should put it under your pillow tonight for the tooth fairy! Don't fill my head with fantasies, woman! How many more of these am I going to lose? Well, all of them! All of them?! Yeah, that's right! All my teeth are going to drop free- It happens to everybody! It didn't happen to you! No, no, your adult teeth come in! I'm just a child! I can't have adult teeth! <laughs> no, that's just what they're called! Am I gonna lose any- any other appendages? Are my are my fingers going to drop off like like overripe peaches? Don't be over dramatic, Billy. Do I shed? Do I molt? Sweetheart, this is the only thing that happens. You promise? Absolutely. At least I won't end up bald like Dad. Oh, mother? Whoa, well, mother, no! Um, did you change the Wi-Fi password? Clean your closet first. I already did clean my closet. What? You cleaned your closet without me having to ask? Yeah. Wow, that's great. I think you should do that more often. Yeah, what's the weapon password? Clean your closet first. All overcase, no spaces. Mom, you're really gonna make me clean the closet for nothing? The next day. Mom, I wanna play Fortnite, but the weapon password's not working. Do you change it? Clean your room first. Okay. A few minutes later. What are you doing? Playing Fortnite. What? Yeah, I knew the Wi-Fi password was clean your room first. I'm not gonna fall for that one again, Mom. Simon! I heard a crash! What happened? Oh, uh, Mom, I fell down the stairs and I think I broke my arm. You broke your arm? Yeah, I need to go to the hospital. Come on, let's get in the car. A broken arm? You don't need that. You'll be fine. What the? 
How is that fine? Back in my day, I had it a lot worse. Did you break your arm back in your day? No, I broke both of my arms at the same time. But do you want to know what I did? Go to the hospital like a normal person? No, I kept my mouth shut and I just carried on with my life like an adult. Is that the reason why you can't lift your arms past your shoulders? My point is you need to grow up and learn to deal with it. Mom, this is serious. Well, are you dying or anything? Okay, I'm getting dad. Dad, why does everyone in this house know? Oh my god, Simon, what happened? He just fell down the stairs and broke his arm. Oh my god, we gotta get into a hospital. Simon, get in the car. He doesn't need that. It's not a big deal. Not a big deal? If we don't do anything, they'll cut his arm off. <laughs> Simon, let's go. I'm taking you to a hospital. You're not taking him anywhere. We have health care. It's fine. But he... Why you still keep playing video game? Check your classmate, Jerry. Does he play video game? No. Does he have a good grade? Yes. Just because he doesn't play a video game, he has good grade. What about Jack? Does he play video game? Yes. Does he have a good grade? No. Just because he play video game, he doesn't have a good grade. What about Mike? Does he play video game? Yes. Does he have a good grade? Yes. Just because he has good grade, so he can play video game. What about Tom? He doesn't play video game, and he doesn't have a good grade. Just because he doesn't have a good grade, so he stopped playing video game. Okay, listen here, Twerp. Today, you are two years old. If you want to get in the park, you have to say you are two years old, okay? What? But I am five years old. I know, but you have to say you are two years old today. Because if you say you are two, I won't have to pay for you, okay? But I don't want to lie. You lie every single day of your life, and you don't want to lie right now? <laughs> okay, I am two years old. Good. A few minutes later. Hi, <laughs> can we get two tickets, please? Okay, two tickets. And how old are you? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Oh, what's wrong? I just asked for your age. <laughs> yeah, honey, what's wrong? Just tell her your age. Oh, uh, my real age is five years old, but my fake age is two years old. Mom, I don't want any more. Can I leave, please? You didn't even eat your salad. Finish it. But. No but. Eat it now. Got it? Open your mouth big and eat it like a big boy. No. If you do not finish your salad, you are not going out with your friends. So finish it. Got it? Mom, please. I'll eat it tomorrow. No. Now, got it? I don't like salad. Then why did you ask that you wanted salad? I did not ask. You forced me. Finish it now. No. Fine. Then you're not going anywhere. Go to your room right now. Got it? I hate you, mommy. Simon! It's your turn to do the dishes. Mom, I don't want to do that. I don't understand why we need to have this conversation. It is so disrespectful that you, know, you can't You maybe I'd actually do stuff if you weren't on my case all the time. Excuse me? Oh, I shouldn't have said that. Wait, I, just, I just need to put these on real quick. Wait, why are you putting your glasses on? Oh, I just want to see who you think you're talking to. Look, I'm sorry. That didn't mean to come out of my mouth. You have no right to talk to me like that. I am your mother. Okay, don't you think you're overreacting a bit? Excuse me? Look, I already said I was sorry, okay? You know, honey. Oh my God, what happened? Our son talked back to me. I already apologized. What's the big deal? You know apologies don't work with her, right? What? Yeah, I'm not getting involved. Come here, Simon. Let's have a talk. Mom, mom. Just a fancy word for adopting an overgrown male child who cannot be handled by his parents anymore. Ready, mommy? Yes. Where are you going? What? No! 20 minutes later. We have a people born. Oh, Adam and Eve made babies. And then their babies became adults and had babies. And so on. Mommy, how were people born? Hmm, we were monkeys. Then we evolved to become like we are now. Daddy, what you said was not true. Hmm. So, 
your mom was talking about her side of the family. Emotional damage! Oh my god, I just got 95% on my maths exam. 95? Yeah, just here celebrating for 95, bro. What happened to the other 5%? Mama Joy, you can't expect me to get 100%. That's like almost impossible. <laughs> me, Mama Joy, when I was your age, I was getting 100% every day. 100%. I walk into the class 100%. The teacher would just look at me and I've passed. In fact, at your age, I was teaching the teacher. Mama Joy, you know that's cap. Okay. So now we are using slangular English. It was not cap. It was all fax, no printer. Hey, <laughs> you see me, I can do it too. Who's on the phone? You'll see. Hey, hello. Hey, Grandma. Hey, hey, what do you want? Did Mama Joy always pass her classes? Pass? Eh, this girl, was she not a menace to the village? She was a menace to the village. My choice. We would always have to put her on neighborhood watch. This girl, she was fighting with teachers. Oh, she is very dangerous. Going in. That's false accusation. Simon! Do you want to explain your recent test grade? I don't know. Did I do bad or something? Uh, no. So why are you yelling? What'd I get anyway? You got a 99 on your last math test. A 99? That's amazing. I can't- No, it's not. You could have gotten a 100. In math, have you met me? You were one point away from perfection. That's basically failing. It's still an A+. plus. It doesn't even make a difference at this point. You could always do better, especially since you were just one point away. Didn't I get like a 92 the other day and you didn't even say a word? I'm getting your father. Honey, I just want to take a nap. What do you want? Guess what our son got on his last test. I don't know, a two? No, he got a 99. You got a 99? Yeah, in calculus. Wow, good job. That's really hard. But he could have gotten a 100. And he also could have gotten an F, so maybe let's be grateful. Thanks, Dad. Mommy, look, a ambulance. Oh, yeah. Bye-bye, ambulance. If we had an emergency, let's say I fainted and I hit my head, what would you do? I'll get my doctor's kit and listen to your heart. Okay, and then what? I'll give you a shot. And then? I'll put an alpha band-aid on your head. Is there someone you should call? Like nine oh, one? Oh yeah. I need to order pizza because I have no dinner. What's the number again? Mama, mama, mama. Mama, what? I don't wanna go to school. Why? No, I don't wanna go to school. Why? Cause I'm gonna break the rules. Why? I can't even read books. Why? Cause I don't wanna two plus two. Why? I just wanna eat food. Why? Teacher say I'm too rude. Why? Mama, cause I'm too cool. Uh, Why? I don't wanna go to school. Why? I don't wanna go to school. I don't wanna go to school. Why? I'm just tired of school. No, Landy, you are going to school. No. Bruh. Mommy, can you help me with my homework? Of course, sweetie. What are you working on? I'm working on math. Okay, let me see. Billy has 10 apples and he eats four. How many apples does he have now? Uh... Two hours later. Simon! Billy has 10 apples and he eats four. How many apples does he have now? <laughs> I don't know. Simon, I swear... What is 10 minus four? <laughs> Simon, look at me. Answer the question. It is not hard. What is 10 minus four? Three? Idiot! I'm How do you not know the answer to this? I'm How do you not know the answer? Oh, you're going to Kumon this summer. Again! Mommy? Yes, love? When I grow up, I want to be a teacher. Did you draw a picture? Let me see. That's me in the classroom. I love it. I think you'd make a great teacher. I want to be a doctor. Let's see your picture. That's me in the doctor's office. I can see you're wearing a stethoscope. You know, doctors are so important, especially these days. And how about you? I want to be just like you. Oh, you want to be a mommy too? Let me see your picture. I want to eat chocolate and watch TikTok all day. Oh, mom, look, 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 look. I found $20. Sweetie, 
sweetie, where did you find that 20? Um, I found it right here. It's my lucky day, Mom. I hit the jackpot. Uh-uh, that's not yours to keep. You better put that back. But nobody's around, Mom. Come on, it's mine now. Finders keepers. It's gonna be bad karma. Put that down, okay? Go, Mom, this is my $20. I'm not putting it back. You don't take money that's not yours. Come on, let's go. Oh, dang it. Oh, put it down. Let's go. I don't care. Fine. So stupid. It's just gonna blow away. Nobody's gonna ever find it, Mom. The person probably already left. They're gone. They have no idea. A few minutes later. $20! It's my lucky day! Mom, Mom, look! That person just took it and it's not even there! That person's just gonna have bad karma. Yes! Oh, this is just what I needed! This is so not fair, Mom. I could've took that. I could've been $20 richer and I have nothing now. Why don't we go home, you do chores around the house, and you'll get $20 yourself from me. I don't like today! Simon! I heard there's a party going on tonight. Yeah, I was gonna go tonight, actually, if that's okay. But don't you have a test the next day? I mean, yeah, but it's also really easy, so I don't even need to- Nope, you're not going tonight. You're gonna stay here and study instead. Did you not hear me? I said it was easy. I don't even want to argue. I'm just gonna get your father. Honey, if only I could find my passport. What do you want? Our son wants to go to a party tonight. Okay, so? But he also has a test the next day. I'm telling you, it's easy. I'm gonna be fine. Wait, so there's a party tonight, but you also have a test the next day? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. I actually got to agree with your mom on this one. See, I told- What? You're not gonna go party if you have a test tomorrow? Are you crazy? Wait, so you're taking her side? Um, yeah, it's common sense. I feel betrayed. I'm too tired for this, honey. You deal with him. Wait, hold on. You gotta rethink this. You can't just let- Go hit the books. Mom, now! <laughs> I've got some big news to share. Do I look any different to you? You combed your hair? You washed your face? You brush your teeth? What if I turn to the side? Oh, you got a new shirt. Look at my belly. Oh, you're the one who ate all the donuts. Mom, do you need help? No, it's okay, thank you. No one in this house wants to help me. I wake up every day and must do everything alone. I see children who help their mothers, but my children are just evil, evil, evil. Simon! Why are you yelling? Do you want to explain why I found the rest of your dinner in the trash? I was full. So you just don't appreciate your mother's cooking then? What, do you want me to throw up instead? I slaved away for this meal, so you should eat every last morsel on your plate. I physically can't. What don't you get about that? So if you can't finish it, then where is it supposed to go? The trash! Where else? I can't believe this. I'm shocked that you don't appreciate your mother's cooking. Do you want me to explode? I'm gonna get your father. Honey. I hate my life. What do you want? Tell your son to finish his food. I'm gonna say one last time. I'm full. Well, I'll just eat it instead. It's fine. That's what I- What? I mean, I haven't eaten all day. I'll take whatever's left. But he's supposed to eat it. He can't. He's full. But- <laughs> You- <laughs> So what you make for dinner anyway? Oh, uh, ribs. Wonderful. Mommy. Yes, sir. What are you doing? I'm braiding my hair just like yours. Why? So that we can be matching like twins. Why? Just for fun. And I think a braid helps me look younger. Okay, but what are you gonna do with your face? <laughs> Mommy, what are you eating? These are dill pickle chips. Are these your pregnancy cravings? <laughs> I guess so. When is the baby going to hatch? You mean, when will the baby be born? Yeah. In about eight weeks. I can't wait until I'm pregnant. What? Why? Could you not do anything for nine months except eat chips all day? Simon! I see you're back from college. Why did you switch up like that? So tell me, how was the semester, sweetie? Uh, really busy, but you know, I'm just gonna take the time to relax. Cool, I don't care. Here's a list of things that need to be done around the house. What? What is this? Oh, you know, housework, chores, suffering, agony, despair. Okay, I just got here. Okay, and your point being? What the? I need some time to relax. So you just want to be lazy then? It's not being lazy. I just need a break so I don't go insane. I wake up at 3 a.m. every morning after getting one hour of sleep. But do you see me going crazy? Yes! I'm gonna get your father. Honey, I'm five seconds away from devoting my life to Christ. What do you want? Our son doesn't want to do work around the house. He just got here. What are you talking about? Oh, please. It's not like I'm asking for much. One of the chores here on the list is solve world hunger. Okay. So I would just take the day off. You deserve it. He can't! You gotta leave him alone. But he- Thanks, Dad.
I, 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 I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose it. I'm gonna lose my mind. Hey, mom, I was just. You look terrible. Thanks, thanks, honey. Thank you for this. There's a reason behind it. If you don't remember last night. Last night. What happened last night? You don't. You don't remember? Nope. I did have a dream, though. But anyways, what? Honey, you walked out of the house in the middle of the night. You walked all the way down the street. <sighs> nope, I don't recall. You you took your, your wiffle bat and you hit all the mailboxes going down on the way back home when I was yelling for you. Are you drinking again? Last night at like 2 a.m. You... Wait, are you? Were you sleepwalking the whole time? I did have a dream that I was Anakin killing all the younglings in the Jedi Temple. No more TV. Mommy, what's a New Year's revolution? You mean a New Year's resolution? Yeah. It's when you set a goal for yourself for the new year. So, for example, I would like to take extra care of my body since I've got a baby growing inside. Eating well, drinking lots of water, that kind of thing. Oh. Do you have a goal for yourself? I want to eat well too. That's great. We can help each other out. Yay. Can you open a chip for me? Oh my god, it's happening again. What do you want? Get off your bed and go do your chores. All right, I'll do them now. Um, don't raise your voice at me like that. Okay, see, I just didn't do that. Oh, so first you raise your voice at me, and now you're talking back. I didn't raise my voice at you. Oh, so you're gaslighting your mother now. Gaslight- I'm just telling you to calm down. I calm down, you calm down. I am calm. I'm calmer than you. I'm as calm as can be. I'm as calm as a gentle spring breeze. I'm as calm as the birds chirping in the rainforest. I'm as calm as the bright red sun setting over the horizon. I'm as calm as the lone wolf howling at the moon. I'm as calm as wind chimes in the middle of a park. I'm as calm as deers frolicking through a meadow. Honey, what are you doing here? Oh, I'm just looking for dating apps with people over 50 because I can't do this anymore. You know what? I think you're all ready for school now. Aww, do I have to go to school? Yes, you have to go to school. I just want to stay home and play forever. I know, but that would be against the law, and I could go to jail for that. Jail? I promise I'll visit you and bring chocolate chip cookies. Anaya. Yes? You've been spending way too much time in the house. But yesterday you said I'd be outside too much. Make up your mind. I meant you need some friends. I already have some. Really? Name them. Alicia. <whistles> exactly. I'm about to call the neighbors and schedule a play date for you and their daughter Gertrude. No! And why not? She's weird. That is not nice. Mom, she only got one eye. Anaya. She takes it out and chases people with it. That's nasty. I know. Well, that don't matter. The girl likes to hang out with you. Don't you remember what happened last time we hung out? No. What happened? I played baseball with her prosthetic leg. You did what? That one didn't tell you? No. She a real one. I'm going to handle that later. You and Gertrude are going to hang out. Okay, fine. But if she takes her eye out, I'm going to flush it down the toilet. <laughs> Sweet dreams. Mommy, how come you get to stay up and have all the fun? What do you mean? I'm not doing anything fun. You get to watch movies and eat dessert all night. Yeah, my evenings are boring. In fact, I'm going to go down and clean the kitchen right now. Okay. Good night. 20 minutes later. <coughs> Mommy, what are you eating? Um, salad. Really? A chocolate salad? Hey, Mom! Hey, sweetie! <gasps> you got McDonald's? <gasps> Did you get me any? Oh, no, I didn't get you anything, sweetie. This is from, like, four hours ago. Dang it! You went to McDonald's and you didn't even get me anything? Well, you weren't out shopping with me, so I didn't get you McDonald's. Is there at least anything in the bag left for me? Like, any fries? No, there's nothing in here for you. I'm sorry. This is just trash. Ooh, I don't like today! Listen, I have groceries in the back seat, which you can actually help me unload, and I'm gonna cook, and you're gonna eat that. I don't want home-cooked food, and I don't want to bring in the groceries. I'm so irritation. Ooh!
Simon, get off your butt and do your chores. Mom, I'm tired. Can I do them in like five minutes? Ugh, you're so lazy. Why can't you be like the neighbor's kid instead? What? If you were more like the neighbor's kid, stuff would actually get done. Okay, before I explode, you understand that it doesn't work like that, right? What? If you want me to be like someone, you have to raise me to be like that first. Excuse me, why are you giving me attitude? Because you're comparing me to other people. Like, that's not very cash money of you. But I'm expecting you to do your part. You can't birth me and expect me to solve all the world's problems like that. But why can't you be like the neighbor's kid more? You know the neighbor's kid is in prison, right? He is? Yeah. Also, oh, that's why he moved out of his parents' house. You don't say! Come and eat some watermelon! I'm coming! Mmm. This is so sweet. How come you're not having any? I'm scared I'll swallow a seed. I don't want a watermelon to grow in my tummy. That is simply not true. Seeds pass right through our digestive tracts and out the other side. I've eaten tons of seeds and look at me. Exactly. What's what are you doing? I'm just watching a movie. Oh, a movie. Can I watch with you? Uh, yeah, sure. Oh, he has a dog. Yeah, that's cute. <laughs> are you crying? Yes. What's wrong? The dog is just so cute and he's probably dead right now. <laughs> you know what? We can watch something else if you want. Yes, put on anything else. Two hours later. <laughs> Alright, what now? It's just that the way that the purple monster died is so sad. Mom, he could have the universe. He deserves it. I know, but he was so cute. Now put on something else. Two thousand years later. <laughs> <laughs> what a great movie. <laughs> Mom, I don't want to sound insensitive, but there's literally no reason for you to cry. The movie was so good that I'm sad that it ended. <laughs> what? Mommy, why is some of your hair white? Mm, because every time you make me sad, one hair turns White. Oh really, mommy? So what did you do to grandma? Hey, give me all your money. What? You heard me. I have a gun. Okay, and I have a taser. What, are we comparing weapons? I said give me your money. Out of everyone here, you chose the one person who's broke to rob? Shut up and show me your bag. Okay, I don't know why you would want that, but... I have my skincare. Do you want that? My antidepressants. Do you want these? Are you depressed too? Some chapstick. You know, you can have this if you want. Your lips are very, very dry. Take out your money. Oh, okay. Um, I have 37 cents. What? Do you want that? I, I told you I'm broke, you know? I, I should be the one robbing. You know what? Give me your money. I missed the bus. Can you drop me to school, please? Then walk. Mm, is there something wrong with your legs? Oh, I'm gonna be late. Hey, you better run fast then. Oh, please. You children, you don't understand your privilege. Because me, me when I was your age, eh? Was I not walking 10,000 miles just so I can get to school? Because education is very important. I will wake up Sunday, Sunday morning, just so I can get to school on Monday. And I was never late. He, my classmate, you might know him now from Olympics. His name is Usain Bolt. He was walking from Kenya to Sudan with his bare foot. Hey? He was just, he was in class just like that. And now look at him. Look at him, he's succeeding. He's succeeding. But you, you cannot walk 10 minutes? You cannot walk 10 minutes? A few minutes later. Mommy, let's play Barbie. I just have a couple more things I have to do and then I'll join you, okay? Okay. 20 minutes later. Mommy, can we play family? You know what? I am finally done. So yes, 
We can play family. Yay! Here, you can be the mom. Damn it! I asked for so little. What do you want? I told you to do the dishes an hour ago. Why aren't they done? I was busy with homework. I was gonna do- So you're just making up excuses now. How is that an excuse to- No, I don't want to hear it. I've obviously failed as a mother. Nah, come back. Excuse me? How does me not doing the dishes mean that you failed as a mother? Well, maybe if you washed the dishes, I wouldn't have to feel like this. I already do a bunch of other chores. You can't say that! So not only are you not gonna do the dishes, but you're yelling at your mother as well. No! <laughs> oh my god, you know crying's not gonna work with me, right? Son of a nutcracker. Stop trying to guilt trip me by saying you failed as a mother. Well, I wouldn't have to say that if you didn't fail as a son! That's really messed up. I'm getting your father, honey. I'm in Spain without the S. What do you want? Our son is being a failure. Apparently all because I didn't do the dishes. Exactly, failure. Okay, our son gets straight A's, stays away from drugs, and just got into graduate school. How is he a failure? Because he, well, you're a- uh. Simon, just do the dishes tonight and you're good. Yes, sir. Son, can you wash the dishes in the sink? I just need to go to the grocery store for a bit. Okay, Mom, I'll finish this in a bit, and then I'll wash them. Make sure they're washed when I get back, or else... Mom, you're being too pushy. I said I'll finish this in a bit. All right, I'm leaving now. One hour later. Okay, time to wash the dishes. Mom, what are you doing here? What did I tell you? But, Mom... What time did I ask you to do it? 2 p.m., Mom. What time is it now? But, Mom, it's only... Wait, let me explain. Mom, please, let me explain. 20 minutes later. If only the world were upside down where my mom would let me play all day. Did anybody says he wanted to go the upside down world? Huh? Who are you? I'm the one who delivers anyone who wants to go to the upside down world. Do you want to go there? I can take you there. Wow, I can't believe what I'm seeing. Is this real? Of course I'm real. But be warned, kid. Once I take you into that world, you'll be stuck there forever, and there will be no chances of coming back. So, kid, would you take that risk? My mom. Several months later. Oh man, I didn't realize playing all day is so boring. I think I'll just help mom with the house chores instead. Are you washing the dishes? Oh gosh, I forgot about that. Did I tell you not to do it? You're supposed to be playing upstairs. Come on, leave it to me. But mom, I don't want to play anymore. Play or I'll hit you with a broomstick. And don't go to school from now on. You will play forever until you get old. What the heck? I want to go back. Simon! Why are you yelling? What have I done? I want you to go do the dishes right now. Mom, I'll do them later. Can I just- Are you giving me disrespect? What the- No! How was that- I don't even want to argue. You're going to get the belt right now. Whoa, 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 chill. I'm sorry, okay? Trust me, Simon. This hurts me more than it hurts you. No, seriously. Wait, what? You heard me. I said this is going to hurt- Oh, I heard you. Um- how does that work? Excuse me? How is this gonna hurt you if you're the one with the belt? Because if I hit you, I'm gonna feel pain on the inside. And if you hit me, I'm gonna feel pain on the outside. Believe me, Simon, this is for your own good. No, it's not. You think I wanna hit my son? I'm gonna say yes, cause you wanna hit me over the dishes. You know what? I'm getting your father, honey. I gotta start listening to the voices in my head. What do you want? Our son is being disrespectful. She's saying that hitting me with the belt is gonna hurt her more than me. Yeah, that's definitely not true. What? Yeah, I mean, you're literally choosing to hit him. I don't understand how this is gonna hurt you. You know what? You do it. I'm not dealing with this anymore. What did you even do? Mommy, when is the baby coming out? When he's ready, I guess. What is he doing in there? Growing. Actually, he's about the size of this watermelon now. Whoa, that's big. Does it hurt when the baby comes out? Oh, yes. Imagine having to push this watermelon out. Yikes! You know, having a baby hurts a lot, but it's worth it. I have no regrets. I never want to have a baby. Okay. You might change your mind one day. I don't think I'll ever change my mind. 
Mmm, this is so sweet. Have a bite. No way, Jose. I want the watermelon to grow into a baby. Hey, Mommy, Mommy. Huh? I learned a new math question at school today. Daddy said he would give you $100 if you got the answer right in under 30 seconds. But if you couldn't, you owe him $200. Okay, challenge accepted. What's one plus two plus three all the way up to 100? Huh? Wait. Let me get a pen and paper. Time's up. <gasps> I don't know. Yes, you owe Daddy two hundred dollars now. Hate losing to your father. <laughs> Thanks. Ha, tell your father I'll pay him five hundred dollars if he can get the answer in under thirty seconds. And if he can't, he owes me one thousand dollars. A few minutes later. Hey, mommy, mommy. It looks like you owe Daddy five hundred dollars. What? Your father got it right? Well, the answer is easy. One plus a hundred, two plus ninety-nine, three plus ninety-eight, da da da, all equals a hundred and one. And there's fifty one hundred and ones, which means the answer is five thousand and fifty. Money, please. Oh, that's actually really smart. Damn it. A few minutes later. Husband, how did you answer that maths question so quickly today? Hmm? What question, honey? Daddy, I got a picture for you. Oh, thank you. What does it say? I love Daddy so much. Thank you. Mommy, I got a picture for you too. It says, Mommy eats lots of snacks. What? That's not even... These are Dad's. Oh, Daddy, can I have some chips? Sure, okay. Yay! Thank you, Daddy. You're the best! Damn it! You get some type of joy out of yelling at me? We need to talk about your report card. Oh, yeah, I got all A's. I know. Oh, really? Then why does it say here in one class that you got an A-? minus? Are we really doing this today? Yes! How could you get an A minus in a class? Still counts as an A! There's an A right there! Oh, please. When I was in school, an A minus was basically an F. How are you gonna get into a good school with grades like this? I'm already in college and I'm about to graduate. What are you talking about? I can't deal with this. I'm gonna call your teacher and I'm gonna apologize for this because this is embarrassing. Ring, the, ring, oh, ring, ring, God. ring. Hello? Hello, professor. This is Simon's mom. Trust me, I know. I just want to apologize for my son's low grade in your class. But why? You should be proud. He scored the highest in my class. Huh? Yeah, no one ever gets an A in physics, so... Can I call you back? So how'd that go? You're a genius. Oh, I know. I'm a joy. What? I'm gonna go on X Factor. Hey, since when couldn't you sing? Mama Joy, you didn't know I could sing this whole time? I've never heard this voice that you're talking about. You know what? I'll let you hear it. I'll let you be the judge. You'll be the first Simon Cowell before the real Simon Cowell. Alright. <clears throat> Go easy uh -uh. on me, baby. It's not going to be you that's going to embarrass me in front of Simon Cowell. Because you're singing like that. Eh? Like the It's on the ship stuck in your throat. What song is that even? It's it's called Easy by Adele. <laughs> Don't you us. Adele, the new one that has just come now. That's what you are singing? It's not possible. Because if I were to call Adele right now, she will not recognize that song. She will know it's her song. Go and hire a vocal coach. Trick or treat, but it's not Halloween yet. So? So I'm not going to give you any candy. But I'm trick-or-treating. Oh no, I got that. I just, I, I don't know why. I'm gonna tell my mom. Yeah, where is your mom? Mom! <laughs> Baby, what's going on? This mean old hag won't give me any candy. What? Why? Why not? Don't you like her costume? She looks great, but I'm not just gonna give her things because she showed up at my door and looks cute. See? She's refusing to give me candy. Why are you refusing to give my daughter candy? Because it's not Halloween. <laughs> tomato, tomato. Kids will be kids. Those two sayings don't. Don't worry, baby. I'm sure there's something in that house that you can go get for my daughter, so go get it. Fine, let me see what I have. Finally, thank you. A few minutes later. Why isn't she opening the door? I don't know. Ma'am, go away.
Hey mom, do you think I could get a couple dollars so I could go out later? Did you vacuum the living room? Yeah. Did you clean the bathroom? Yeah. Did you clean the dishes? Yeah. Did you clean your bedroom? Yeah. Did you mow the lawn? Yeah, mom, I did all my chores. Can I just have a couple dollars, please? No, go get a job. I don't have time for a job with all these chores you make me do. Now you're grounded for backtalking me. Get up to your room. Hey, mom, can I have a couple dollars for V-Bucks? Pretty, 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 please. Aw, of course you can, sweetie. Here you go. Thanks, mom. And don't forget to do my laundry. <laughs> Mom's purse. That should be good. Hey, Mom, I'm going out later. Can I borrow a couple of dollars? No, what do I look like? A bank? Get out of here. Okay. One hour later. Hey, Dad, I'm going out with my friends later, and Mom just said to come ask you for money. Yeah, sure. How much should your mother say to give you? She said to ask for $50. Yeah, sure. Here you go. Thanks, Dad. What suckers. What is it, sweetie? Pearl is a fake friend. She talked trash behind my back. How did you find this out? Sandy told me. What? Okay, sweetie, I do not want you hanging out with Pearl ever again, okay? Oh, Mom, you don't have to worry about that. I'm never hanging out with Pearl ever again. Like, she's such a fake friend. You don't need to be friends with people who talk bad behind your back. I'm just letting you know, I don't like Pearl anymore. Three days later. Hey, Mom, I was just wondering if I can go over to Pearl's house and have a sleepover. Sweetie, I thought you and Pearl weren't friends anymore. Oh, no, me and Pearl were friends again. Like, we're good. Like, she apologized to me, like, two days ago. No, sweetie, absolutely not. You are not hanging out with someone who talks trash behind your back. Mom, we literally made up, like, we're friends now. No, no, you don't need to be hanging around people like that. What? Dang it! I don't like today! Why don't you just go hang out with Sandy instead? I don't even want to hang out with Sandy. I want to hang out with Pearl. No, no. Mom, can I have $20 so I can go out with my friends? No, what do I look like a bank to you? If you want money to go out with your friends, go get a job. What about all the chores I do around the house? Isn't that a job? No, that's mandatory. Everybody has to do chores if you want to live under this house. No, stop bothering me. I'm trying to watch my show. Hey, Mom, can I get $20? I'm sleeping over at my friend's house, and tomorrow we're going to Six Flags. No, I'm not giving you $20. I don't even know you. What, are you one of Tommy's friends? I don't give money to strangers. What? Mom, no, it's me, Michael, your middle child. What? Really? Oh, my goodness. I didn't even recognize you. I haven't seen you in so long. And no, sorry, you can't have $20. And ask your friend if you can sleep over for another two weeks. Whatever. Time for plan B. Oh, hey, Dad, what are you watching, football? Mom said to give me some money because I'm going to sleep in my friend's house for the next couple days. And we're going to Six Flags tomorrow. Oh, hey, but yeah, the Eagles are on. That sounds fun. You're going to your friend's house and then you're going to go to Six Flags? Yeah, I got some money right here. It's $200, okay? <laughs> yeah, boy. Oh, come on, he just fumbled it! Yeah, that's perfect, Dad. Thanks. Works every time. Hey, Mom, can I get 20 bucks? I need some Robux for my Roblox character. Oh, hey, sweetie, you need some Robux? Of course I'll give you some money. Here, take $250 and buy all the Robux you can. What? No way. Are you serious, Mom? Thank you. I'm going to be a Roblox millionaire now. <laughs> Now go buy your Robux. Emotional damage. Hello, I don't want what you're selling. I have kidnapped your daughter. Oh my God, what? What happened? Listen, pay me one million and I'll let her go. One million? There goes my lungs again. I don't think you know who I am. Uh. Who are you? I don't pay full price, she not worth 1 million. Rude. You have the audacity to scam me, I'll only pay 20 dollars with free delivery. She better arrive quickly. Uh, I don't think you understand the situation. Listen buddy, she not gon' pay without a bargain. Okay, that's fine, just pay me half a million dollars. What? You're crazy, 10 dollars is my final offer. What? I got lots of bills, you gonna pay for my telephone bill? Grocery bills? You say yes, then she will kill. Oh my gosh, you are a psycho. 
I told you. I'll let your daughter go. Gee, I want free delivery. <laughs> I didn't know it was National Yell at Simon Day. What do you want? I need you to clean this room right now. We have guests coming over. My room is already clean. What are you talking about? Oh, really? Then how do you explain this mess? What mess? There's no mess here. I'm clean. So you didn't see this pen I found on the floor? A pen on the floor. You're yelling at me for a pen on the floor? Yes, it's lazy and also dangerous. How? How could that be dangerous? If someone steps on that pen, it could roll over and they could fall and die. I don't think that's how pens work. So you're okay with letting people know you live in a war zone? then it's a pen it's not a tactical nuke like how far are you willing to go with this you know what i'm gonna get your father honey what did i do to deserve this torture our son had this lying around in his room is that a pen it's a dangerous weapon is what it is okay you have two knives pepper spray and a shotgun in case world war three breaks out but you're worried about a pen but that uh, but you uh, uh. you have what Hey, mommy, mommy, why are we rich? Oh, uh, it's because your father won one million dollars by jumping into a pool full of alligators and swimming to the other side without getting eaten. Hey, daddy, daddy, why did you jump into the pool of alligators? Because, child, behind every successful man is a savvy woman. Your mother pushed me. Hey, mommy, mommy, why did you push daddy into the pool of alligators? Because if he survived, we'd win a million dollars. And if he didn't, we would have won five million dollars. Huh, it's a shame. Mom, the report card's out. Oh, really? Show me now. Well, I got an F. I can't believe it. Mom, the test was so hard. You aren't my son. Um... When I was your age, I used to get straight A's! Okay, Mom, I have to tell you something. You have to learn working hard like your mom! Mom, this is your report card! Wait, what? Are these the good grades you're talking about? Hang on a second. Beep boop beep boop beep beep. Come on, come on. Hello? Mom, my son saw your report card! What are you talking about? You said you got straight A's! Um... Yeah, the thing is... I'm so confused. Now I know why you never showed me your report card. Uh... Oh my god! Mommy, what is marriage? Hmm, let's see. Marriage is just a fancy word for adopting an overgrown male child who cannot be handled by his parents anymore. Daddy, mommy! Where are you going? What? No! 20 minutes later. We have a people born. Oh, Adam and Eve made babies. And then their babies became adults and had babies. And so on. Mommy, how are people born? Hmm, we were monkeys. Then we evolved to become like we are now. Your mom was talking about her side of the family. EMOTIONAL DAMAGE! I'm never going to the grocery store by myself again! Why were you there by yourself? To get groceries, duh! Okay. I was driving around for hours when- Wait, 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 wait. Uh. You were driving? Yes, I just said that! Good! Okay, okay, my bad. Anyways, I was driving around for hours trying to find a parking spot. Did you find one? Interrupt me one more time. Sorry. I finally find a parking spot, right? And this lady steals it. Dang, what happened next? I got out the car and told her that was my spot. And she said, how? When my car's there. Ah! Yikes. So I did what any other tax paying citizen would do. What did you do? I hit her and her car with my car. What? You hit her too? Yep. <laughs> you should have seen her flying. <laughs> Amaya, you, you could go to prison. She 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 could have taken a picture of you of the license plate. Relax, calm down. Oh no, now you hide, girl. The cops are here for you. No, they aren't. They're at the neighbor's house. Why? Because I stole their car. Oh, mom, can we please go home? We've been here for. 
for over three hours. I just want to go home. Uh, no, sweetie, you're the one that wanted to come to the store. Dang it, Mom! You're distracting me while I'm trying to pick out the best dishwasher, okay? I know exactly how to get Mom to go home. I'll just really embarrass her so she wants to go home. A few minutes later. Perfect. Oh, these dishwashers are crap. <laughs> This place has horrible dishwashers. Bummy! We're gonna have to go somewhere else, sweetie. Bummy! Look! <gasps> what are you doing? Get off the floor right now! I'm a burrito! Get off the floor, you're embarrassing me! I'm a burrito! We're leaving, we're leaving the store. No, mom! I'm a burrito! Come on, let's go. Yeah! No! I'm gonna have to drag you out of here. I'm a burrito! I'm never bringing you to the store again. Mommy? Hmm? Do you have a job? Well, I am your mom. <laughs> no, a real job. Like, Daddy's a doctor, and he gets money. I see what you mean. And you're right, moms don't make money. But it's still a lot of work. Some people say that it's equal to two and a half full-time jobs. I don't want to be a mom when I grow up. Fair enough. It's not for everybody. But I'll tell you something. I love being your mom, and I wouldn't change a thing. You know, you can be a mom and have a job outside the home. Yeah, but I don't want to do that either. Okay. What do you think you want to do? I'm going to be a grandma. And I can play bingo, and someone will always help me cross the street. Ah, uh, a mom. I just got attacked by two grizzly bears, a dinosaur, and three alligators. And they took my shoes. No. Mm-hmm. Maybe if you wasn't on that phone, this would have never happened in the first place. No. Gee, tripping. Mom, what my phone got to do with anything? So you're not going to help me out? Nope. Oh. The next day. All right, doctor, any good news? I'm actually very sorry to inform you, but it looks like he has a severe kidney disease. Oh my God, my son, you know? He shouldn't have been on that phone. Oh my God, sir, can you please get her out of here? Ma'am, can you please leave? She blamed everything on my cell phone. That's crazy. Simon! Hi, mom. It's been a while. You need to clean this room right now. Mom, I just got home. Can I just wait for a little bit? Uh, it's the lazy son for me. Oh no. Oh my God. Where did you learn that? I'm learning new slang so I can stay woke. Why? Why are you trying to fit in? Well, in order to keep up with the young people, I had to yassify my language. You are too old to be sounding that illiterate. Simon, I'm not that old. You're ancient. You're just mad because I'm becoming a girl boss. I should have just cleaned my room. So you see how cool I sound now, right? No, you don't. It's cringe. Stop it. Excuse me? You're you're low key and up. Oh, you did not just call me that, dad. Five seconds of quiet is all I ask. Are you guys fighting again? <sighs> I wish. So why are you guys calling me in here? He's just being an op because my new slang is goals. All right, I'm calling her faster because she's clearly possessed. Hello there. Wait, what? Dad, I fell in love and I want to date this awesome boy. That's great, honey. Who is he? It's Mike, the neighbor's son. Oh no, I have to tell you a secret, but promise me you're not gonna tell your mother, okay? Mike is actually your brother. Uh. Three days later. Dad, I fell in love again with another boy. Awesome, who is he? It's Brian, the other neighbor's son. Ooh, no, listen, Brian is also your brother. Uh. <laughs> A few minutes later. <laughs> what is wrong, honey? Mom, I'm so mad at Dad. I fell in love with two boys, but I can't date them because Daddy is their father. My love, you can date whoever you want. Don't listen to him. He's not your father. Hey, Mom? Yes, son? My friends and I are gonna go see a movie tonight. Can I borrow, like, 20 bucks? Excuse me? Oh, my God, here we go. You know, you have a lot of nerve asking me that. Do you think I'm just made of money or something? Yeah? Oh, I'm offended. You are so ungrateful. For 20 bucks? Are you kidding? Doesn't matter. When you're older, you need to learn how to manage your money. And 
not spend it on stupid things. Didn't you spend like 300 bucks on a handbag the other day? Simon, that's different. That handbag was essential. Gucci handbags aren't essential. Why are you making such a big deal about this anyway? Because you're coming in here expecting me to take care of you. Is that not your job? Speaking of jobs, you should probably go get one if you want to make those 20 bucks. But I need the money now. You know what? I'm getting your father. Honey, life is pain, everything is pain. What do you want? Our son is trying to take all of our life savings. Look, don't listen to her. I just need 20 bucks for the movie theater. Oh, you should have just asked me. Here. What? Just make sure to pay me by the end of the week and you're good. Yay. <laughs> Don't hate mommy me. Okay, rude. Wanna tell me about your report cards? Yeah, I'm a straight A student. You've seen them. Really? Because the school sent me your real ones. They did. So you've been giving me fake ones? Yes and no. The report card may be fake, but the love I have for you is real. Shut up. Uh. Why are your grades so bad? Mine doesn't matter. You got 2.5 seconds to answer my question before I go crazy. Go crazy. I'm playing, I'm playing. So what if my grades look bad? Anaya, they said you're going to summer school. Summer school? You better lower your voice. That's not fair. Mama, do something. What you want me to do? I don't know. Kill somebody. Girl, no. Hit him with a car. Make it look like an accident. Anaya. I don't want to go to summer school. Well, that's where you're going. Summer school is for snotty-nosed kids who eat chapstick and drink butter. You'll fit right in. <laughs> and if you fail this time, you'll be right back in the first grade. I can't fail if they can't find me. What? Bye. <laughs> I heard you got a test back today. Oh, yeah, but the teacher already said that I passed, so. Really? Because I'm looking at the test and it says you fail. I'm actually dumb. So you lied to your own mother. Okay, I lied, but you don't have to be mad and start- Oh, don't worry, I'm not mad. Oh, good, I thought you start yelling at me and then- I'm just disappointed. Huh? This doesn't surprise me. But what really grinds my gears is that you lied to my face. So I'm just gonna leave it at that. Wait a minute, you can't leave? But I thought you didn't want me yelling at you, son. This is worse! Now I actually feel bad! Maybe now you'll learn the consequences of your actions. No, I need help. Dad, I can't get any piece of Why are you crying? Bob just said she's disappointed in me. Wow, you really messed up bad if she's saying that. I know, I wanted to yell at me instead. Wait a minute, you willingly want someone to yell at you? Yeah? You're weird, man. Mommy, someone is calling Dad's phone. Who? Sneaky Link. What? Let me see. Hello? Hi, is Mark there? No, no he's not. Who is this? This is Rebecca, his girlfriend. Um, this is his wife speaking. That's a damn lie. We've been dating for a year and a half. What? We've been married for seven years. You better be joking. You tell Mark I'm not helping him pay for the house monthly anymore. And I'm removing him from my Netflix account. And that Louis bag he wanted for some reason, I want that back. Ah, <laughs> got you. <laughs> I just pranked you. I'm actually his sister. <laughs> I'll tell Mark you call. That is your brother? Shh. Bye. I can't wait to move out. What do you want? You haven't helped out around the house at all today. Why? Because I have homework. I have a big project that's due at- I don't care about that. You need to slay them chores. No, 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 no. We can't be doing this again. Excuse me? Do you have a problem with me sounding bougie? No, I have a problem with you sounding dumb. You need to watch how you talk to me. It's giving lazy son. That was actually horrible. So you'll do your chores now that I'm speaking like you, right? No, you sound uneducated. Stop it. Simon, if you talk to me like that again, I'm taking away your phone on my mama on grandma period this is unacceptable dad do i need to call the pastor again possibly our son is being salty and clapping back at his mom fam yeah we're gonna need the pope for this one the what hey mom i'm back from school i heard you got your test result back well mom i mean show me your report card now here Wow, you got an F 
It's because of your telephone. Stop, Mom. I have a headache. Because of your telephone. Mom, I have back pain. Because of your telephone. Mom, my stomach pains me a lot. Because of your telephone. Mom, I broke my leg. Because of your telephone. Mom, I'm so hungry. Because of your telephone. My telephone makes me need food. <laughs> Mom, do you know why fish live in water? Because of your telephone. Mom, why do dogs bark? Because of your telephone. How is that because of my telephone? Mom, why isn't the earth flat? You can't say that that was because... Oh. Because of your telephone! Sure, of course, why not? Mom, then why did you buy me a telephone? Because of your tele... Oops! Haha, <laughs> <laughs> got ya. Mother? Mm-hmm. Close my fridge, but I'm hungry. Close my damn fridge! But how do I get to the... Mom? What? I'm hungry. Well, eat then! But I need to open the fridge to get the food. Well, do that! Like, why is he telling me this? Okay. Excuse me! What? You need to get through? My electricity! Close the fridge! But you just said it! Close it! Okay, you know what? I don't have time for this. What are you doing? Yeah, I'ma just go out and pick something up to eat. All that food in the fridge and you about to go out to eat? You won't let me go in the fridge! Now why would I not let you go in the fridge? Like how dumb do you sound? Just grab what you need. How do I grab what I need out the fridge? Well, I don't know what's in it. You won't let me look! Oh, I'm sorry. I deeply apologize. My voice. I didn't mean no harm. Yeah, you don't want these problems. I don't want those problems. Now go! Yes, ma'am. Um, can I open the fridge? Close my fridge! That's it!